Cancer of the esophagus is an um, increasing problem in the Western world and in the UK in particular, and it's increased quite rapidly over the last 30 years. And the sad thing about this cancer is it usually presents at a late stage. So the first thing the patient usually knows about it is they've got swallowing difficulties and weight loss, and at that point it's incurable. Um, what we do know is that the, the time for, for cancer development is actually very long, 10 or 15 years, through gradual stages, and the pre-cancer stage is called Barrett's esophagus. And the main risk factor for that is heartburn. So we've got an opportunity, if we could identify those people um, with heartburn with, who've got Barrett's esophagus, um, of monitoring them and um, then intervening before they've got a, a cancer at an advanced stage. At the moment, most people with Barrett's don't know they've got it because they haven't been tested with endoscopy. So the test we've invented is something very simple that could be done in a GP surgery to diagnose Barrett's esophagus. Um, and the test has two parts to it, a cell collection device and a laboratory test to pick up the Barrett cells. And the cell collection device is very simple, that's what we wanted. It's a capsule on a string that the patient swallows. Um, you use your own natural swallowing mechanisms for it to go down. And the capsule um, dissolves in about three minutes. You're holding the string, which is out of your mouth, makes you feel a bit silly. But um, And once the capsule has dissolved, then um, out pops this sort of sponge. And um, it has a sort of latticework structure, so as you pull it back out, <coughs> it collects cells on the surface and in, in between this um, latticework. So you collect a lot of material, about 200,000 cells, um, and you then simply put it into a pot of preservative and that's sent to the lab for molecular testing. <coughs> the molecular test is a protein called Trefil Factor 3, um, which distinguishes the Barrett cells from the adjacent normal stomach and normal squamous esophagus cells. Um, it's a very simple test to perform just based on an antibody and um, the test is either positive or negative. So there are two main things we need to do now with the, the research. One is commercialising the device aspect and the other thing is more work on the molecular tests. So we're trying to extend the molecular test to risk stratify patients into high and low risk Barrett's um, using different molecular markers and also to diagnose the other main form of esophageal cancer called squamous cell cancer. Um, we've just started a, a new trial of over a thousand patients to see if um, we can get more robust data on how accurate the diagnostic test is, the TFF3 test for Barrett's, and to try our new molecular tests to distinguish the, the low and high risk group. Um, that trial will take about three years to complete. Um, of course we want to see this getting into clinical use, this test, and um, we expect that it needs more more trial evidence even after this next phase. So I expect that it will take another five to ten years before it's actually routinely used, um, say, as a national screening test, which would be our ideal outcome.